you can't go and certify somebody and say you're poppy compliant because poppy is a journey and that journey that starts tomorrow would always involve accountability accountability means comply with poppy and be able to demonstrate compliance with poppy and yeah i'm quite concerned mike about our smes because i'm concerned they don't know about poppy and you're not going to be able to demonstrate compliance with something that you don't know about above 80 percent of smes don't know anything about the poppy act and i think that the big concern is from tomorrow quite a scary process and we're trying to take that scariness away and like you say what's pretty exciting what you just said tomorrow is a journey that begins and i think that's going to kind of alleviate a lot of the pain from smes out there because i think that the important thing about the poppy act is that there are very few smes who don't want to comply they just don't know what they need to do to comply they're afraid it's going to cost them a great deal of money to comply and it's going to take them an enormous amount of time and as we know time for an sme especially now during the pandemic is of the essence so these are the pain points that's coming out but the intention to comply is positive i think what is really needed is a firm guideline of what do i do now to start the process we look at what we have to do with information the first thing we always need to say to ourselves is why do we have this information so keeping things just in case you might need it somewhere along the line is not a good purpose for your reasons. The other thing is that for as long as we hold on to information, as long as it's in our possession, we are seen to be processing this information, which means we are liable for this information. If anything happens to this information, and I'll talk about data breaches in a bit, if something goes wrong with that information, then we're liable for it and whatever happened to it while we were looking after it. The other thing is that you'll see Ira will touch on these now, is data subjects have a right to ask you certain questions about what information you have about them and what you do with that information. In that context, how are you going to be able to tell people what you have if you don't yourself know what information you're holding on to? So in the fullness of time, it is important that you start thinking about your historical records. Now, I know that a lot of you are going to say to me, but we've got a garage full of information and we're now worried because Poppy's getting in. We don't have time to go and sit and look through all these documents and work out what we must keep. Poppy does recognize that you can restrict information, basically pack it away and keep it safe and leave it there until you do get the time to look at that information. And then you can still use it for purposes of evidence or proof if you need it. So have a lawful purpose, collect as little information as you need to meet that purpose. Don't ask people for stuff that you don't need. And then when you store the data, store the personal information, only store it for as long as you have a lawful business to store it, or if there's a law that says you must keep it. Don't just keep information, all your information indefinitely.